goal for 11 points that he has. It is Casho, Meyerhofer, and Padua leading the parade. And it's throw it over to Van Lim from the Ateneo side of things. In the dugout, Coach Norman inspires his boys by saying, look at each other because this is it. The opportunity is here right now, and I would need everyone to get enthusiastic about it. Don't lose that basketball and keep turning out those fast break points. You've got these guys on the ropes, so don't you dare relax now. Turn over to you, Boom and TJ. Thank you very much. It has been tit for tat basketball. This one being brought to us by Smart, the power to lead. Yung topic na yun na hinabol, pangalawang foul ni Rico Meyerhofer. Pangalawang oh, no. third foul. So that's bad news for those fans. Oh, and a short free throw by Zion Leter. And the ball ends up with LaSalle. Casio on the run. What a pass. But Zion diving and breaking up that play. Great hustle there by Zion Leter. Imagine he was the one there contesting the rebound. Instead, he was first to get down and break up that long pass. That, that's what he really brings to this team. Yep. Extra possessions, extra hustle, extra muscle. That's his role, and he plays it to the hilt. Villanueva. We haven't seen him aggressive today. Lasalle did not get the offensive rebound. Two on one on the other side, but Otto is running. And he is blocked. They send it out as Ateneo will reset to Chris Shue. And he hits that baby hole. What a way to get that basket on that possession. To salvage it after getting blocked on a supposedly easy layup. 41-20. The lead swings back. To Ateneo, a special misses on the step back. 535 to play. Lafayre sees daylight. Nothing there. Tries again. And a foul is called on an Asalia. Wow, what hustle from Zion Lathair. Not giving up on every single possession. Going up for every single rebound. And making the South big and big. We have a Samson timeout. We all need it. With Samson, it's not hard to imagine. Ateneo in the lead. 41-40. The last couple of plays for Ateneo, Jai Reyes has done the job, not maybe in the points, but in the assist category. Driving and dishing it out to his teammates, attracting the defense with his slashing moves. Here's the last one, driving inside, dropping it off to Zion Lathair. So the little Jai Reyes, the hero in their second round matchup, uh, in their first round matchup, so far showing his worth as a good point guard today with the assist. And in tandem with Zion Lathair, who's in the free throw line right now, four rebounds, three of them offensive. Mr. Extra Possession, Zion Leter. As Ford Arau tries to stick it back, the top ending up with Chris Chu. Arau from 13. Still no goal. Zion keeps it alive. And it's Simon Atkins who throws it over to Cholo Villanueva who is fouled. And the bucket is good. What a hard foul there by Ford Arau. And he tried. Tough shot. He tried to actually catch him. That's the problem. He knew his body was going to have full momentum, so the right arm was down. Actually, maybe not to throw him out, but to try and catch him on the bump. Solo Villanueva taking the contact, putting it up, and getting it to go. And the lead, or actually we are tied at 42. Here's one angle, TJ. Look at him invite that contact. Well, Malayu name Bola Dun. Also, Ford Arrows, both arms are on the shoulders of Cholo Villanueva, so that is a good call this time around, a good call by the refs yes. for a hard flagrant foul. The early one with Chris Chu, I didn't agree with. This one, I think, is a good call. And Cholo Villanueva, as they say, just uh, brushes his shoulder off as we send it over to Sharon Yu right now. Sharon. I have great news for the girls. It is going now for our spectacular cleanser. More than your usual face of the game, as I personally handpicked Adrian Garcia, 14 Thank you very much, Sharon. Personally hand-picking an Athenian. Well, there you go. That's got to be fair. That's spirit fair. for you. Sharon's wearing blue shoes. Well, I guess that looks, uh, you know, yeah, obviously it goes for both spirits. Well, here's the thing with this play, dude. One free throw, the basket was made, he gets a free throw, and they still get possession. possession. Unfortunately, he missed the free throw. Seven lead changes, three ties in this ballgame. This could be a swing of momentum if they score here. 
And I like how uh, the referees have maintained yep. peace and order here. And also the assistant the coaches of, of Vance from Adam making sure nobody from the bench jumped onto the court as they were all up on their feet. But Franz Kumarin, seven out of eight years, he has coached the Archers to a twice-to-beat advantage. DLSU in the meantime, zero out of three free throws in the two flagrant fouls on today. And a little lull here at the Araneta Coliseum as action, pace, and quality has picked up here in the third quarter. And we are tied at 42. Former board member of De La Salle, Mr. Danny Jose. 5.14 to play. I wonder what the lull is all about. All right. Let's go to Sharon you for a report then. Well, Coach Grant Fox dug out during halftime, but the staff told me that he wasn't happy that he gave up 11 turnovers during the second quarter. Offensively, he wants to take care of the ball, pass it around, and he demands aggressiveness. He doesn't want the boys to just match the aggressiveness of the Eagles. He wants them to surpass it. The 12 fouls committed during the second quarter also disappointed Coach Grant. Defensively, if the calls are tight, the boys were told not to force the shots, rather look for the open man or a shooter with higher percentage. Movement, TJ. Thank you very much, Sharon. She talked about uh, the fouls yeah. that you pointed out uh, in that first half. A lot of them are useless. Yep, exactly. You look now, you got P.J. Walsh on the bench with two, Rico Mayhoffer on the bench with three, and I think Malavis also on the floor now playing with two fouls. Under five minutes to play. In terms of the aggressiveness, she mentioned that the coach French Moana wanted more. Obviously, the South turned it up a notch here in the third. Yes, they did. Chris Chiu against Cholo Villanueva. Six on their 24. Jai Reyes trying to find space, and he does, but he's blocked by Ferdinand. And that is the fourth block in this quarter for DLSU. Atkins doesn't force it. Actually, back-to-back -back traveling infraction is called on DLSU. So tentative rookie mistake. The, the rookie players of Lacal earlier, this Malabes, who got called for the travel now. It's Atkins, as you look at this. Today, Lasal had actually last met in the playoff for number two, back in 2004. And Lasal won that one. Pass a great Pelican, success to Coach Grant Kumarit as another useless foul. And when we say useless, move, it's because the guy is 35 feet from the basket. No absolute threat whatsoever to get a, a bucket or even for them to get a near steal. Yes. 12 turnovers for Ateneo, 6 for DLSU. They only had 4 at the half. An impeccable number for De La Salle. That's another steal by Cholo. 3 on 2, but Ateneo catching up. They have a carving space. And he comes up short. 4 minutes to play in this third quarter. A battle for twice the beat. They leave Jai Reyes. Jai sends it off to Christian for another 3. Gets it to go! And that's what happens when you leave Jai Reyes over. He's going to threaten to drive. Drive, attract the D, and drop it out. Kick it out. That is the second triple for Ateneo in this ballgame. Both coming from Chris Chu, who is two out of three from that area. Chai once again from 15 is blocked. Ferdinand blocking this time once again. But now the blocks of La Sala caught up here in the third quarter. Yeah. Earlier in the first half, in the six to nothing in favor of Baclao alone. Now, already have four. As Malavis puts up a three, that's a little wild. And Lander comes away with a sixth rebound and in possession of this game. Lander has been big. Dude. He has been big on both ends for both strong attacks so far here in the third. Jai once again to Chris Chu. He thought about it. They send it out to Otto for a long two. That's short. Three minute mark. And the lead is three for Ateneo. Shola goes back to his left. Tough angle. Doesn't get the roll. And a couple of misses now as both teams have soured up. You can't blame the Celtics because this is the tempo that they like. Yeah. But I think they've rushed their last couple of shots.